well, 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 if it isn't another episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Guys, I'm going to do this crazy little thing called diving straight into the game. All I'm going to recap you guys with is we finished off playing Abby. The game is now giving us the last couple days from her perspective. We started with Seattle day one and we went out on an op and then we got ambushed. And so we finally got recollected by the wolf by our other wolf companions and so we're being dropped off at our first location but it is still seattle day one so let's go get to it guys thank you for being here and i hope y'all enjoy it this next episode and action <laughs> non-game related tip of the day when that dry shampoo is not working for you look at that trusty hat of yours and say today is your day to shine because i don't feel like washing my hair and it's gonna be okay <laughs> I'm actually pleasantly surprised because every time I've worn a hat in the past, my camera is like, like it wants to fixate on the brim of the hat and not on my face. And so usually it ends up just being blurry. So we're going to see what happens here. But it's probably not good if this does end up working because I love hats so much. I probably live in them outside of streaming and recording. And so if this actually ends up working and not being a total distraction... This might be the new thing for us. It's gonna be overalls and hats, baby. And a calma. <laughs> Almost there. Mm. Okay, so we're going back to the stadium. They're not taking us back to our post. Which is fair. Squeeze this as hard as you can, okay? She got cut by something. Two. Is it a gunshot wound with no exit? Okay, he's got a gunshot wound to the hand. Yeah, it's not. There's no way that it didn't exit. There's no way. It's got to be a <laughs> knife. Hey, you did all right back there. Mm. It's almost a compliment. I'll get help. Stay, Alice. Come on, it's this way. I wonder what she got that cut on, because I didn't remember us going hand to hand combat. That was a lot of blood, right? Arrow. Possibly an arrow. She should be out. Yeah. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. At least we get to keep the pup with us. Yeah, it must have been an arrow that went in. Not too deep. Unfortunately we also lost a Humvee too. Out here. Hey, come on, girl. This is Alice. Come on, Alice. Alice. Thank you. These new recruits. I don't trust them. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. That's fair. I do feel like in this situation you gotta earn that trust. What's going on? What do you mean? We've been stationed here for three days with nothing coming down the pipe. Well, then you should be thanking us for getting some action. Come on, you owe us one. Can you find out what's up? Okay. Well, let us check in first. We'll get back to you. All right, thanks, Ben. See ya. Huh. See ya. I love that? Abby's voice. Uh, no idea. All right, there's definitely something happening. I'm hearing a lot of noises. I feel like, um... I think this day is going to go a little better with me doing a lot less comparison or not even comparison, but playing with this perspective of frustration towards Abby. I feel like stepping away from it because yesterday's or the previous recording was part of playing Ellie and then going into also playing Abby. It left me with a little bit more confusion. And I feel like this time it's just easier to kind of slip into her mindset and playing as her and as the game intended so i don't feel like i'm going to hold her so harshly to what we do know about her and what happened with joel um i can't reiterate this enough i think that as much as it probably is frustrating people to play as her i feel like it is exactly obviously the game intended it to be like this and to cause this uncomfortableness within us um but yeah, going forward, again, just reiterating one more time, I'm trying to play through with her 
with kind of an open mind and and again not holding ellie's personal grudge like this is really like me playing as her and not bringing ellie's hey you two what you got for us perspective into it no assignment just says report to isaac both of us yeah yikes okay we finally get to meet isaac is busy here. something's going down we better find isaac we should make sure Mel's okay first. Yeah. This isn't the stadium, though, is this? This is just a checkpoint? I guess this is three. I don't know any of these people. You? Where did they get all the people? If they don't recognize any of them? Workbench. Ooh. Okay. Hey, man. Abby. Heard someone had to save your ass for once. <laughs> Hardly makes it even. Okay, so I saw them. I saw the pipe bombs on there too. But okay, so we. I think we did recently level up, so it's not. I'm gonna be throwing into the semi-auto because we don't get a semi-auto with Ellie. I think it's kind of fun if I get to go and play with that. A little bit more nice. All right, grabbed those two. Abby, come here a sec. Huh. Yeah? Heard about your ambush. Where'd they hit you? Uh, right around here. Near the warehouses. Oh, shit. They keep slipping past our lines. Hey, you know where Isaac is? Uh, he was here a few minutes ago. Okay, thanks. We'll look around. Where are they getting all these patches, by the way? Like, who's making them? How are they making them? Maybe it's way simpler than I realized. What the heck? Water? Oh, oh, get him. Get him. Come on, Tina. I think it's Tina. Oh, come on. Move. Hey there. Hey. Get him. Dude, I want to see Abby get in there. I want them to let us have Abby as an option. See big tiger energy? The sex panther. Oh, let's go. You said about me going down? Best of three. <laughs> I don't think so. For your sake. Y'all were right. That was much better than sitting around waiting for orders. <laughs> Put Abby in though. That's the that's the point. Okay, somebody I think I missed the optional dialogue because I got to sidetrack. Damn it. Yeah, the rationing. They're starting to ration for water and stuff like that. Damn it, I missed that optional dialogue. Oh, never mind. Nice. Oh, look who it is. I hardly recognize her alive. Hey, Whitney. Oh, hey, Abby. What's up? You know what's going on? She's right stuck here? on that thing. <laughs> I wish. All I know is they're sending some of us to the hospital. Supply run. Oh, exciting. I know, right? Nora should be around here, too. That game good? Really hard. Oh, really good. Got some great tunes, too. Don't let me stop you. See you around. I don't recognize it. Is that like an Easter egg to one of uh, Naughty Dog's other games? You know how like in Uncharted they reference, oh man, is it Crash Bandicoot? I never played it. It's either that or it's the other one. Fucking video games. Hey. Yeah, right. <laughs> who would play those? Man, who would do it for a living? I went, what? All right, are we doing this? He looks really concerned. I feel like that's not normal for Manny. Oh man. They said we should check on Mel. Is this where Mel is? I guess this is probably the infirmary. Yeah, infirmary. Looks yeah. Bad, huh, Doc? How'd this I've seen worse. Hold still. Hold still. Right. Where is she? No. Huh. Hey man. Feeling better? Uh, pain meds are kicking in, so... <laughs> Hang in there. That'll make you feel decent? I'm gonna keep most of my fingers. I just can't wait for happening. Brother. Brother. <laughs> Actually, that's so true. For this being like a military group, there's not enough brother. <laughs> Where's Mel, though? Where's Mel? She's through here. Gotcha. Let me just... Yoink! <laughs> Stealing medicine from the the hospital. Yeah. 
speak of the devil. Hey guys. Okay, I did not know Nora was a med. Just a few more was a med student. And I'll be good as new. You guys need to convince this girl to relax. Yeah. ML. Relax. <laughs> you got it. Hey, um, I need some muscle, so can you two give me a hand or something? Sure. Who voices oh. Nora? Because I swear I've heard her Here. before. Relaxing. Relaxing. Nora, have you had a chance to relax? Ugh. I'm shipping out to the Westside Hospital in a few. She's gonna relax when Ellie. Everything. How's Mel? Really? Wait. Well, the baby's vitals were a little elevated, but I'm not worried. Someone should get word to Owen. He'll want to be here for her. Yeah. I feel like Nora deserved to be I more. Buy something. Well, Follow actually. Follow me. Now that I think about it. She is one of the later kills, and then it goes Owen and Mel. So I do feel like they're kind of, I feel like the order of which they got killed off was kind of how close they were to Abby, like proximity-wise. So I don't know if Manny dies during this time before we meet Ellie, but we do know that he is not. Like, as of from Ellie's perspective, we didn't see him get killed. So he's either still alive or he dies in this pre-part before it. Oh my god. Are these all ours? Yeah, and more are coming in by the hour. Unless, no, Manny wasn't the one that was dead that Tommy interrogated, right? He definitely wasn't. There's no way he went out like that. Uh, Manny, please. I have thick muscles. I can't get past. <laughs> Manny, look, I have... Uh, I had two, I had two helpings of protein this morning. I can't. I might be stuck. Unless I can go over the bodies. I can't move over the bodies, guys. Okay, let me rotate over here. Maybe he'll move. There we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Manny, please. <laughs> Your girl is... I, I need at least six feet for each muscle. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, maybe I can sprint before he gets back. Okay, ready? So he's going to walk over there. All right. I don't think it's going to let me sprint in this area. Okay, keep walking out. Keep walking out. Go, 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 go. Okay, he gave back. <laughs> Leave it to me to get stuck in... The bodies. Between you can't tell Mel, all right? Nora. Just not yet. It's not Owen. We know Come it's here. not Owen. Who's in that body bag? It's the guy with the scar on his face. Holy shit. It's Danny. Danny? <sighs> Maybe that Danny was the one that Where's got interrogated? Owen? Danny and Owen went out together. Okay, so unrelated. Some scar sightings out by the yeah. marina. Yeah. Danny and Owen were sent on a sweep. And this morning, the guards found Danny collapsed by the perimeter fence. He'd walked himself back with a bullet in his stomach. Pinches a scar, hijos de puta. Isaac talked with him until he passed, but... As far as I can tell, there's no units going back that way. Mm. So what about Owen? That's how they ended up the marina. Did you ask Isaac what happened? Yeah, I tried. But he gave me that, that fucking look and then he told me to keep quiet about it. Which means you can't say shit. We go against Isaac and we go after him. I'm sure he's fine. That's what Nora was referring to in the hospital when Ellie finds her. I'll be discreet. Last I heard, he was um, in the apartments. Okay, I'm gonna go check up on Mel, so. Let me know what you guys find out. Yeah. You have to be one hell of a dude. Why the hell hasn't Isaac sent out a search party for Owen? Maybe he hasn't, just didn't tell Nora. I fucking hope so. 
you have to be one heck of a dude to be like the leader of this entire group you know like he either has impeccable leadership skills or he strikes fear into people i mean obviously he's led them into a decent lifestyle with the stadium and everything like they in a lot of ways for this world and everything like people are there's i mean they're surviving i don't think i'd say thriving per se but he's kept them surviving this long so i mean there's got to be a lot of respect there but I mean, for one person to call all the shots like that with this many people involved? We're looking for Isaac. He's inside. Go on in. Thank you. <laughs> Basic Damn, thug and beanie is. number two. Sup, fellas? Got time for a game? Uh, can't. Don't Here recognize. Isaac. Whatever, big shot. Not my fault I'm so good at what I do. <gasps> nice, another coin. See you around. South Carolina. What's on it? Oh, man. I need to see it in the light. I'll look at it later. Let's go. I love that she... Her collectible is really cute. Um, and I think I also love it because I remember collecting the quarters. Like, I have my own, like, quarter collection. I still have, like, the book. I think I had all 50 states as well. That's pretty cool. I think they are accurate to what they are in real life, too. Isaac, took three days, but I finally got something out of 74. If what he says is true, sounds like the southern shore might be our best bet. I've marked up a map, left it in your suite. We should send scouts to verify as soon as possible. I still feel like he might be holding out. Give me a few more days with him. Sergeant Foster. Um, okay, I, I can't remember the island exactly, but isn't there an island off the coast of... Washington, uh, there's a naval base there. Um, I wonder if that's what they're referring to. Because we heard mention of an island and nobody comes back from it. But yeah, there's, I want to say it is an island off the coast of Washington. I don't miss this place. Fuck. Always hated the smell. I think it starts with a W, maybe. Or an M. Hmm. After our morning, I wouldn't mind a few minutes with these guys. <sighs> I hear that. Yeah, but it, for what purpose? Like, what? Oh, man. Every single group has their own way of handling things. I mean, I have to say that... Uh, have we really seen... I don't think we've seen quite this level in Jackson. I don't think we've really ever, at least as Ellie in this one, walked past what they do when we capture people, like trespassers or anything like that. But also in Jackson, you don't have, like they're doing enough scouting missions and things like that. They don't have like two groups going after each other the same way that the city is torn apart. It is very different. Okay, so we're going to go up. I wonder if this is where we see Isaac torturing somebody. I have a feeling that was from the, the trailer. They don't even have a pot to piss in. Hey, Abby. We need to go up. Isaac's in there. Hmm? Do you know if he'll be long? I said again when you two arrive. Come on. Oh, I mean, I, Abby and Manny seem like they're high up in the ranks. Probably based on time. Yep, this is the scene in the trailer. Sir, Abby and Manny are here. Sleep deprivation. I mean, he does it himself and he doesn't, he's not having other people do it for him. No losses on our side, just some minor injuries. Can't say the same for them. Wish I was hearing more of that. 
Never seen the base dispacked. Give it another day. Still waiting on some units. What's going on, boss? These small skirmishes. It's just the beginning. Can't keep going like this. Then what? You could try another truce. But how long before some asshole on their side? Our side unravels the whole thing. No. It has to be all of them. Sir, we try attacking their island. Not like this. They are based out of the island. Not with everyone. It's a big storm a few days out. We're gonna use it to mask our approach. You two are gonna lead the first wave. Literally. <laughs> Pick your squads. Start prepping. I want Owen. When are he and Danny getting back? Ooh. He knows. Look at that smile. Uh, Nora. No secrets between the Salt Lake crew, huh? Is Owen okay? Then why ain't we send a search party after him? He shot Danny. Apparently to protect some scar. It's bullshit. Excuse me? That's what? not Owen. You got it wrong. You're saying Danny used his last breath to lie to me? Hmm. Sir, he makes a good point. People hear that story. Owen's dead. Anyone who finds him, they'll gun him down for sport. And I suggest you all stop gossiping about it. Let me go after him. I'll walk him back in. We'll get to the no. bottom. No. You said yourself the storm's a few no. days. No. We've only got one shot at this. And this is bigger than any of us. Definitely bigger than Owen. Wait. Do you guys remember that one letter we found? But we found it as Ellie, so I don't think I'd go back and be able to read it. If he turns up, then fine. Give him the benefit of the doubt. And we'll get to the bottom of it. I need you, Abby. Yeah. Yeah. He's got that like calm yeah. leadership style that's just Good. like he's definitely a silver tongue. Plans and go through your roster. Grab some food. We'll talk later. I mean, he's definitely brilliant. Like, you can tell by just his deduction that she knew. Like, he's brilliant. He's good with his words. I can see how he... How he's had this... How he's maintained, like, the leadership position of this whole no group. Owen killed Danny over some scar, right? What? No. Abby, don't. <sighs> I'll be back by morning. You just gotta cover me till then. I said we'll kick your ass. Not before the assault. You heard him, he needs me. That's why. If Owen's out there, how the hell are you going to find him? I'm know. Abby. <laughs> she also lucked, she has like insane luck that she ran into Tommy and Joel, so I'm sure it won't subside. <laughs> Three years earlier. This is their spot to begin with. What? Seriously, stop it! <laughs> Isn't she? She's terrified of heights too. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you come on over and enjoy this view with me then? It's great. It's the best. Oh. <laughs> come on. We made it all the way up here just so you could wimp out on the last two steps. Yeah. Yes. Deal was to get up here, so. Mm. <laughs> All right, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get your ass over here, sit on the edge, or you can go down here on the kid seat <laughs> and look at this view with me. I can't miss training. See how rusty it is? I don't like it. Really? Not even just for one night. No. Sure. 
talk about it. It's getting late. This was after her dad was killed, probably? Yeah, for sure. Because they left Salt Lake, yeah. They're no longer with the Fireflies. Don't. Don't, do not, it is too high. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> you know, I don't think I can live like this anymore, Abby. Oh, and I'm serious, I will break up with you. Oh, and I always Aww. love you. <gasps> He grabbed it. She's gonna do it? She's gonna do it! Hopefully you can swim. So Abby. nice with all the trash in the Down water. Here, you so romantic. You jumped? And I missed it? I thought you drowned. And you came to my rescue? No. <laughs> I came to make sure you drowned. <laughs> uh, I found something pretty awesome. What? I think you're gonna have to follow me to see it. Now I... I think I understand more in that intro part. Like I, I could tell. Oh, I think. Go back. I we think. Will. Once you see this. I want to. People are just oh. starting to warm up to us. We keep showing up late to everything. It'll seem. It'll seem disrespectful. What are they gonna do? Kick out a bunch of displaced fireflies who have nowhere else to go? Maybe. Yeah. I don't want to find out. Just come see this thing. Um, I think I had predicted that they possibly had something, but it definitely makes me remember that scene where he announces to her on the way to Jackson that Mel's pregnant, and you can see in Abby's eyes that there was, it was definitely pain. Take a deep breath. Like, there was definitely pain. I could tell that they had something. They had to have something together. But that is not going to bode well for uh, <clears throat> Ellie, because we killed him. The marina. Whoa. What is this place? I don't know. You want to keep going? Oh, maybe they've never seen one. Okay. They saw the zoo in Salt Lake, but maybe they never saw the marina. Or a marina. Well, definitely not in Salt Lake, but like an aquarium. Because marinas are on the... Are marinas specifically on the water? I think they're actually on like the seaside. <laughs> this is crazy. I think it's like one of those uh, zoos. But for fish. Yeah. Shut up. Check this water pup out. I saw the seal the other day. Minnow sea otter. Oh, spots. They don't have spots. They're brown. <laughs> no. No, you don't know. I know what I saw. Oscar the eyes. seal. Mm -hmm. He's so cute. <laughs> this is kind of interesting, too. Also getting to see the marina in a positive light and not this like dark terrifying oh i don't like that how many legs does an octopus have or tentacles sorry not legs sound travels almost five times faster underwater than in air huh i love i love aquariums Peanut, <laughs> Peanut, the baby sea otter. I love otters too. I think they mate for life as well. I think they have like a lifelong mate. Exit only. They always hold hands. Hey, give me a hand with this. Yep. Mmm. What is 
this place? Well, clearly this is some sort of theater, but for uh, fish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you a rooster? What? I'm a wolf. That's it's giving me wolf. the the Blackfish documentary yeah, vibes. Yeah, but you love this idiot. So, I mean, what's that say about you? <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go down there in a second. I wanna go this way real quick. Huh. You know, I think, I think that this game is so cool because the second one shows you that it's, it, this, I think it's so easy to think that the story is about Joel and Ellie. Right. And they are main protagonists in it, but they don't want it to just be about them. Like they are trying to show you what it's like for other people out there. Um, and then I think it's all coming down to the everybody thinks what they're doing is justified, like their revenge is justified or they're killing the other group is justified. And they're going to like the wolf wants to take out the scars completely, but the scar is probably on their island. They probably have kids and families just like just like the WLF does. And that's what it is. Like this one highlights, it's like the story isn't no, it's no longer just about Ellie um, and Joel. And I think that's what maybe makes it uncomfortable for some people is the first one sets it up to feel like it is The Last of Us, AKA the Joel and Ellie show, but it is so much bigger than that. All right, let's get up there. I was hoping so for something. No, it looks like somebody turned this into a makeshift dock or something. What if it could work again? You wanna check it out? Yeah. Looks like the yacht on the forest. <laughs> Wait, what if there's something over there? There could be a coin over there. There could be a coin on the ship. But there could be a coin over here. Hmm. Maybe we dive down? I really don't want to because you guys know I don't like water, but I will do it if I have to. Wouldn't take too much work to fix her up. It could be something that they work on together. If there's going to be a oh, what if... are you doing? You gonna give me an animal show? Um, do I look like a spotted seal? It had spots. <laughs> I don't think I can dive down. It won't let me. No, it won't let me. Which is fine by me. Let's get up and out, up and out, up and out. Yeah, let's go inside. Oh yeah, this is totally the forest vibes. Oh, except it doesn't have the compartment inside, like the... The cabin. This is a mid-size boat. Ah, uh, There's some kids' clothes. There might be a dead family came through. Look at these drawings. Hmm. Aww. Golden Retriever. I wonder what happened to him. <laughs> Maybe they joined the wolves. Yeah, or it got killed by scars. This is kind Scars of nightmare fuel. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's something to do with like the super wide necks, but the teeth, it's the teeth and the eyes. And why are they all looking to the same direction? I don't like that. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Look at the little shark toys. There's gotta be a coin in here. I feel like if there would be one, it would be here. Where's the red? It only allowed me to pick up one of them. I think, unless we could have toggled between them. But I don't see anything. I would be taking that salt and pepper. I feel like the food here could only be so good. So I would be taking any kind of seasoning and spices we could find in any area. And if we found sriracha, douse that on everything. Everything. All right, enough of this boat. You want to go see the rest of the fish zoo? I wonder... Of course. Let's go. 
I wonder if we just missed some optional dialogue there. I think it would have been cool for them to add a scene where she asked him about kids in a way. You know, just because he does end up having one. Well, he was supposed to. I just think it would have been interesting for them to have like a conversation and where she's like, did you ever like want to have kids or anything? So there's another place up here, so maybe he'll help us. Yeah. What are the chances there's a coin in one of these, one of these rows? That would be cruel if they did do that. Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. Honestly, the mural is still really beautiful. Considering. Get me up there. Yep. <laughs> I'm still just dying that when we played Abby, the first thing we see is the gym. That cannot be an accident. Here. Uh, okay. <gasps> Holy shit! Look at you! Okay, that's not. pounds yesterday. Yeah, right. What? So, we take a quick look around and then... We head right back. Abby's definitely in the Thousand Club. With like two lifts only, not even all three. Like, there's two lifts and she's in the Thousand Club. Any fish in there? Absolutely not. I wonder if any of these are connected to the ocean. Oh my god. Oh, you don't see that every day. Also... They're giving us a scene where we're visiting an aquarium and Ellie and Joel got to visit a museum. Like, they're purposely running parallels. Like they want you, I, they really do want you to feel conflicted. <laughs> they somehow made both of the stories line up so well. Like, it doesn't feel forced. It feels very natural. <laughs> Look at that baby. It's like hey, pointing. Owen, no spots. Look at that. Well, the one I saw wasn't bronze either, so... Hmm. Fair enough. Oh, we came through the shark. Tropical fish. Restrooms. All right, so I know I missed some stuff in the dinosaur. I think I missed one main thing in the dinosaur one, so I'm gonna try not to miss anything here. But at least we won't be crying. <laughs> I can at least say it's that was her. In the floor. Can you imagine this place filled with people, kids laughing, running around? Well, my dad would love this place. Yeah, he loses his shit over it. Yeah. Hmm. It's so beautiful with the, uh, the growth. <laughs> Best trip ever. Penny's Bachelorette 2013. Okay, that is a very tame Bachelorette. I love it. <laughs> that would be me, guys. For my Bachelorette, can we go to an aquarium? <laughs> No, mine would be Harry Potter World. Are you kidding me? Harry Potter World. Maggie's Bachelorette. Let's go. It must have been right here. Mm. Sir, I would like two tickets. Oh, and do you happen to like pina coladas? Or getting caught in the rain. <laughs> I think it's the same family from the boat. That'd be my guess, yeah. Max's place. Yeah, this was the kid from the boat. This was their home for a little. Kids, if you find this, I want you to know I don't blame you. Those seraphites, 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 are selling a good line. I understand why you thought you'd be better off with them. There's food and water in the boat. Take it and sail away from this place. I know I got too controlling. I just wanted so much for you two to be safe. I hope you see that. I couldn't find antibiotics. I want you to both know that I love you. 
Ricky, keep watching out for Max. You owe him that. Dad. The note, um, by the way, when uh, we were in Isaac's room, do you guys remember? I don't think it was in relation to Owen. I really don't. But do you guys remember we picked up a note with Ellie on the way to the marina where it talked about how a WLF, uh, somebody with a WLF got captured and taken in by one of the Seraphites, Seraphines. Um, and then he said that the WLF came in and shot and then he ended up shooting his own people. I don't, th that couldn't have been Owen, but for some reason that just reminded me of that letter that we saw. I wanna make sure we grab everything. All right. Okay, but let's try to go into Max's place before we go upstairs. Locked. Maybe from upstairs we can get there. All right, come on. Floor one, atrium floor two. To come back here with the Stingray cafe. Yeah, get them to break the rules too. You don't think it's worth it? <laughs> let's see how much trouble we're in when we get back. Huh. Hmm. You love it. <laughs> Shut up. So, can I get like a... Uh, Owen, you were right. Thanks for dragging me into this amazing place. I'll think about it. You know, he kind of reminds me of her dad. Not in like a weird way. You know, like they always say like you end up with somebody like your parent and you don't even realize it. But like, her dad was the same way. Like, she kept saying, we need to get back. We need to get back. And his dad was like, her dad was like, hey, let's like enjoy this. Or we need to go see, we need to save the zebra. Like... Little similarities, little things, little things. Oh, oh God. The dad. Hmm. I think this is our boat, Captain. Shit. Oh, dad, I'm taking Max away from here. He can't spend his life locked inside the rotting building. All he'll do is take on your weaknesses. Wow, damn. When the soldiers killed mom, you just stood there like a coward. What kind of example is that? You should have gotten angry. You should have made them hurt worse than they hurt her. I want Max to see what it looks like when people are willing to stand up for what they want, when they're willing to make something on of their life. The world is harsh. It's up to us to change it. Only when weak may I carry my true strength. Maybe we'll come back someday. If we do, I hope you're not still sitting in this stupid chair. Wow. And you know the irony in all of that, right? I want... The world is harsh. It's up to us to change that by combating it with more pain. His kids are enough to join the scars. Jeez. Hmm. Well... On the bright side, I found these keys. We can find Max's place. What's wrong with you? He's a skeleton. He doesn't need them. Fair point. I just don't understand <laughs> how anybody willingly joins the scars. Why not? Because they're an it? insane cult. That's why. Well, in the QZs, people would refer to the Fireflies as terrorists. Fanatics. We were naive. Thank you, Owen. We weren't fanatical. We blew up checkpoints and assassinated soldiers. It's yep. not the same. I'm just saying... Don't say shit like that at the stadium, okay? Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Everybody thinks what they're doing is justified. What time do you think it is? Look at the family. We got time. I actually... You know what? We're seeing this memory, too, because I think... I think she realizes that it's very likely he did something happened and owen defended the seraphites over over danny and it's probably likely that he did shoot danny but i mean owen seems more level-headed than he realizes it's not, it's not black and white undefeated i like that they place do you notice that they do place some characters that have a little bit more um neutral perspective on the situation like they actually can see it from both sides it's not a lot of characters not not very often but you do see a couple it's honorable that you respect your father but you have to see he's trying to control you 
to make you feel like you're still a child because he's too afraid to act like a man. You deserve to be surrounded by a community that can foster a strong spirit like yours. Max, even Moriso, 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 Morso, sorry, whoa. <laughs> Max, even more so, ignore me. He's so impressionable. If you care about your brother, you'll get him out of there before he takes on your father's weaknesses. We'll be passing by your aquarium again in five days. If you want to join us, light a torch along the dock and we'll pull in nearby. May she guide you. One, that sucks because you can see that they're still children, so they're very impressionable for sure. And you can tell just by her repetition of that statement to take on your father's weaknesses. They were just so impressionable that they, they saw this other person and they believed everything they said, you know, and, and they ate it up and they regurgitated it back to their father, calling him weak. Hmm. There's, I mean, so messed up. <laughs> More so is one of those things that I, I don't think I've ever seen it typed out. You know, like you'll say it in a sentence, but I don't think I've ever seen it typed out. Okay, to Max's, to Max's thing. I don't think there was a coin up there. I'm fairly certain. Let me just double back. We've got art supplies. There wasn't anything over here. We would have seen the... There's more toy sharks. Huh. Nothing over here. At least, I mean, this was a really nice place that he had them set up with. And it seems like it wasn't frequented. It wasn't really in the way of a lot of stuff. I like that there's a baby with it. All right, let's do this. Wanna try those Owen? keys? Please. Oh, yeah. This one? Nope. How about... Got it. I love the detail that they put in their faces. And I feel like a lot of their characters have freckles, which is so Dang, cute. This must have taken forever. All right, let's turn our... I don't have a flashlight. Oh. Okay, I did not have to jump over that. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, that is not a gallon can of paint. That is some weird hybrid between a gallon and like a quart. That is, there's no way that's a gallon. <laughs> Leave it to me to pick apart the fact that that is not a realistic gallon size paint can, but still. I'm just a little, yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, that is no, that is not. I refuse to believe it. Okay. Look at this. They're kind of weird hybrids. They look like shark heads with uh, people, otter, weird creature. Look, Don't you can already see it. Down there. Come on. Owen. Last thing. I promise. Last thing. I thought he said that the last time. <laughs> Just, uh, don't look down. Of course he's going oh. down first. <laughs> he gets the best view. You're good. Wow. The kid even painted all the way down here. <laughs> look at these. Look at the alligator. This kid. The tank. Mm. He's a scar. Maybe you have. Ah, Jesus. I sure hope not. <laughs> That's a long arm. <laughs> that is a long arm. I think that's what makes child's pictures and interpretations of things so cute because they don't, I think it's like they, they understand the concept, but they don't understand dimensions. And so it always looks so much like cuter because the dimensions are all out of whack. Like, look at this turtle's oh, eye. <laughs> Oh. Wait, this is my favorite. Get on in here. He's like, I don't, I don't know. He looks a little cross-eyed. I love it. Oh no, the shark's gonna eat the, 
fish. How can you not enjoy this scene? <laughs> oh. Hey, what are the chances that... I don't know, I just feel, I feel like I could see Naughty Dog using, like, actual children to, like, they told them, like, hey, draw, like, X, Y, Z. And, and they actually had kids draw this. I don't know, what are the chances? And then they had something, somebody move it into a digital format. But I just feel like I could see them doing something like that because it seems so, like, they're so well done. They look exactly like a child drew them. Ah, oh, you made a fort. That's cool. Yeah. <gasps> they saw a sea otter. A seal. No, it's a seal, not a sea otter. It's a seal with spots. He got them confused. No, it is the spotted. You see that? I told you there was a spotted, spotted seal. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was an otter at first. It looked tiny. <laughs> A quick roll in the hay. In the aquarium. Roll in the aquarium. <laughs> When I wear the hat, so I can have my face. It's this, isn't it? You're <laughs> disgusted by it. <laughs> Your abs are disgusting. Come on, Abby. She wants Dad sorry. bought Owen. Don't be sorry. Talk to me. I know all the leads have dried up, but. Oh. But Joel's still out there, you know? I know. What can I do? Let's go back. We can still make training. <laughs> she, she can't move on either. She needs her own revenge. You go ahead. Even if it pushes people away. What about you? seals for a little while you know I'm sorry I told you already don't be sorry Her friends do come along. I'm just gonna pause it for a second because I also need to run to the bathroom real quick. Her friends do come along with her, but you know what's interesting is not a right away though. So I don't know, I, I think this might be too too early to say for sure, but you can tell right there. Um, I think that's when you can tell also that something is truly bothering somebody is you can have like a slow down, uh, more intimate moment and then you kind of it's like it weighs so heavy on you that you can't be there in that intimate moment you have to like say like what's bothering you and it's a good time to kind of you know for them that's when she brought it up and it did cause him to focus on it but I think it also in a way it kind of it pushed him away because it highlighted how even when it's just them there in a happy moment she's still has this eating at her like this revenge that she needs to enact on joel and they do come along with her and they help her so we're gonna find out i think we're gonna find out exactly how she ends up knowing that joel is in jackson we're gonna see that but when it happened to ellie and she had revenge in her eyes all of her friends banded together to help her no matter what now granted she's i don't know for sure we don't know for sure how the friends are i think for owen you know he probably wants to see her happy and move on and i think also based on his comment with the 
knowledge of like it's not just black and white between the wlf and the um and the scars i think he is a little bit more not level-headed that's not the right term it's not like she's not level-headed it's just that he's not so quick to be blinded by the rage and the revenge and it wasn't his dad so i think that's why it probably comes easier for him but i don't know we'll see how her friends respond once she gets that next lead for him maybe he's like hey there's no more leads we can give up now so he probably was there and wanted to help when it first happened but maybe it's just you know it's the time has time has passed and he's probably like hey like it's not gonna happen let's move on but maybe he'll rise to the occasion when they do find that next hint with ellie her her friends are helping her and they want to help her but then it got to a point where they were like okay we need to put dina first so we need to go back so they didn't feel like they needed to finish the job with abby so very kind of like mixed uh, things happening but i will be right back guys hold on All right, we are back. Sorry, I got a package. Guys, wait, I don't know my earbuds in. What? Um, I am so excited. I have had, I built my original PC. This is such a side note. I built my original PC five, almost five years ago, right before I started streaming. And since then, I had upgraded the motherboard CPU and the GPU. But other than that, I have just kind of been rocking the same thing. And I've been having a 2070 Super for the last, I think, three years. I think I've had it for three years now. And I just finally decided to take the plunge and I ordered all new parts. And so I'm doing a whole new build. And I got my hands on a 4080 at actually MSRP too. So... I'm going to be doing, I think I'm going to try to do a build video so I can show you guys what I did. I'm not actually, um, so I'm actually going to give my, my sibling has been wanting a PC for such a long time. So I'm actually going to be giving him this PC and I'm so excited to like share that with him. I think I'm doing it for Christmas so he doesn't realize yet. Um, and thankfully he doesn't watch these videos. <laughs> But I'm actually just going to run. I run streaming and I like record and stream and play the game off of the same PC. And I think I'm going to stick with that. So I just want to build like a powerhouse of a PC. But I'm so excited. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And so some of the parts are arriving and I'm, I'm starting to get really excited. But I think that's not going to be until I think I won't have the new one built or like a video created until like the first or second week of January. Um, but yeah. All right. So let's get back into it. What if Owen's somewhere else? He's there. Let's get off the roof before someone sees us. It's a safe spot. <laughs> yeah. Can I talk you out of this? No. We don't know what happened. <gasps> I gotta find him. I mean, if you really killed Danny... Fuck Danny. I'm jealous Owen got to shoot him before I did. Whoa, Abby. Mm. Mm. I do that appreciate is... you helping me sneak out like this. How are you getting to the aquarium? The highway? Can't. Too many patrols. I get spotted for sure. Underground? I'll rough it. Aquarium's due west to here. Keep following the sun, I'll, right? I'll I'm rough coming. it. I've done this before. Not with this many scars in the area. Many. Please. All right. You know okay. best. <laughs> You know best. All right, let's look for... I'm really surprised the aquarium didn't have a coin. I feel like you guys are going to write in the comments that I missed one. I probably did. Already tracking that. Um, give me one second. I'm getting a call, so I'm going to be right back. Hold on. Sorry. All right. We are back and ready to go. I know that was like two breaks back to back. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm focused. I'm ready, Abby. Take me to Owen. Let's go. Mm. Today has just been... <laughs> it's either a package is arriving, a phone call, bathroom breaks. Huh. I love how he's, like, looking at the poster. Also, like, the subtle hints, now that I'm thinking about it, the subtle hints, like, he loves, he talks about anime, and she talked about the video games. I just think it's really cool when they have the... Hmm. I think he went the other way, but let's see. What are we doing? It's called Did you know someone squatting here? Loot Goblin. There we go. Let's just peep over here. 
Huh. I didn't know if those were the comics that Ellie loved so much. What's this? My man, oh. my lover. No. When I'm with you, the Whispering world. Whispering Spanish in my ear? Stop. Hey, that's private. Oh my God. Stop. Is this your place? How many oh. sex things do you have in this QZ? Okay, perdón. No hablo inglés. Oh, yeah. No hablo inglés. All right, Manny. All right. Yes. The Sex Panther. All right, let's pick up some parts. Okay, we can finally have our light on again. I forgot that we're not in the flashback. Oh. Manny, you sly dog. I mean, how could this apartment not win over somebody? You know, it's definitely the dirty towel. <gasps> okay, that's so worth it. And the romantic tub time. <laughs> uh, did we say we were doing this one right? So we could craft more shivs. Listen mode clarity. I don't know. I haven't really tested it out with her that much. Listen mode movement speed. Move faster in listen mode. I love how they give them different mechanics as well. And like abilities. Grabbed enemy movement speed. Faster prone, uh. Hold on. Hold breath, uh. Listen mode, uh. Increased health, eh. All right, we're going covert ops, covert ops. Oh, put the Molotov away. Mm. Damn it, I really wanted to read that. Hey. Do we still have it in our, oh. Thanks. For this? Yeah, and <laughs> other stuff, you know. You're a good friend. <laughs> Come on, us. You know, I can handle all these emotions. Look at it. It's actually beautiful, too. I never thought I would use beautiful to describe Seattle after after everything, but yeah. This is really cool. Looks clear. Come on. I talk about this on stream all the time, but it's like my family knows when I'm recording or streaming and our group chat just pops off. All right. Wish me luck. When you find him, don't hit him too hard. <laughs> I'll do my best. Seriously, watch yourself out there. See ya. Okay. Mm. Just follow the sunset. Dumpling. Spicy dumplings. All right, so I believe it's still, I want to kind of see, are, is it still Seattle day one? Uh, I don't think I can see that without going out. Um, somehow Mel ends up with Owen though. To bring us back to current time, Mel ends up with Owen and me. We all end up at the marina together. But that could be after we retrieve Owen I think what's going to happen is we're going to retrieve Owen. We're going to clarify the situation with Isaac. And then we go out on a mission to the island and... <laughs> Great. I sounded so sure there, but the confidence is waning. Confidence is waning. Okay, let's go this way first. The spicy dumpling. I don't think there's going to be anything over here. That was where we came from, yeah. <laughs> Tang fra fabrics and impulse. Oh, what does it smell? Wait a minute. No, can't get in there. Fabrics and imports. Oh, nice. Dead bodies. Yep. Still fresh. So I wonder if they're going to have a run into infected as well. Note. Henry, my friends, forgive me. I have failed you. I was trying to escape a squad of wolves and stumbled upon a group of demons. 
what? <laughs> There's another group? <laughs> they caught me off guard. By our prophet's grace, I will die before the corruption sets in. Oh, they call infected demons. Okay, that makes sense. And I lose control of my senses. Now more than ever, I see the righteousness of our path and the corruption of the wolves. I will die happy knowing I played a small part in restoring the purity of our species and world. Should you find me, set me a light and say her words over my remains. Don't Damn think. No. You can rot here. Yeah, you're not gonna be so lucky. Another manual. Urban oh, warrior. Something like this. Close quarter combat training for civilians. Wait, I love that it's for civilians specifically. <laughs> ah, is that Corporal Lance McGrath? Upgrade branch. Bashing brains unlocked. Momentum. After killing an enemy with a strike for a short time, your next melee attack will also be a strike. Oh. Craft more effective health kits. Cool. Improve aiming stability and accuracy while moving. Faster health kits and momentum last longer. Wait, can we upgrade the first one? Oh, I have five points to my name. I feel like I have a knack for smelling training manuals. But that body was fresh, so we should... There should be infected nearby, because she mentioned demons. So yeah, infected nearby for sure. Oh. But... I know we're going to climb up over there. Nothing? Nothing. Alterations and tailoring. This reminds me so much of when we're going through the outskirts of the QZ. Or actually when we're in the QZ for Last of Us 1. With Joel. Hmm. You know how I feel about you guys. <laughs> about you guys and telling me that there's things inside of these vehicles. I'm going to say it every single stream or recording. Yeah, no shot. Figures. Guess I'm going over that wall. I couldn't be so lucky. All right, let's see. We're... <sighs> oh, okay, so we... Oh! Shivs. Yeah. I think we're going to be able to open doors now that we have a shiv. You know, like if we come across a locked door, like Joel did. I'm kind of surprised they didn't give Ellie that option in this one um, now that she's a little bit older. I don't think it was specifically tied to her being younger. Um, I know that her strength did feel slightly different and she does feel stronger in this one. But I think it's also a, oh, nice, oh, nice. mint condition, North Dakota. North Dakota. Awesome. That's super cool. Um, I think it's not necessary for the areas that Ellie stumbles across, but maybe for Abby, she'll find some areas where she can just break into it. It didn't make any noise. How is that possible? How is it possible that the clicker didn't make a single noise? Do they do that ever? I guess it's not textbook that they have to make noise. We need to put a silencer on, by the way. I also want to know... I'm interested to see when we find out why Abby and Owen broke up. It's probably the day that she benched more than him. Just absolutely wrecked him on the bench. I'm sorry. Can we just take a second? I can't stop looking at her. You guys, as somebody who has permanent noodle arms, no matter how many arm days I throw into my, my routine, I just... I can only dream. Like, 
look at the vascularity too. She's got some veins popping. I love that they, oh, I just love that she's like this badass character. I could see, I actually, I think now that we're playing her longer too, I feel like I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna start to like her more. That just happens. The more I have time with somebody, the more I get to know their reasoning behind things and who they are and, and everything. And kind of like what I was telling you guys the last time, like she's not the antagonist. She's not a villain. She, she's just also a girl that lost her father. Um, and there's obviously more to it, right? It's not that plain cut and dry, but I'm sure so many people probably disliked her right off the rip just because of what happened. And I understand it, but I also, I do and I don't. Again, not this game, hitting me where it hurts. Okay, so we're gonna do momentum because we like bashing brains in game. In game. All right, let's do this. We're going prone. May she guide you. Yeah, guide you right off a cliff. <laughs> also, you can't lie, she's hilarious. She's absolutely hilarious. I don't care what she say. May she guide you. Yoga, youth soccer. Watch your stuff. Watch yourself. There we go. That's what we need. Can now craft a silencer. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, and then we're gonna grab this. Full. Are we sure we're full? Okay, we're nah, okay. We're definitely full. I think now that we're halfway through the second game, I finally mastered the flashlight use. <laughs> that being said, sometimes it still does randomly come on in my panic. In my panic mode of pressing random buttons. Great timing. Hmm. Take this one out first. Wait, I don't want to do that. Just okay. They almost saw me. Okay, so press. She has a slow kill. Did you guys see that? She has a slow kill. I don't think any of her abilities make her. St I don't think she has one where it makes it faster. Actually, now that I think about it, wait. That looks like it could be faster movement while holding it when hostage. No, but that's that's different. I'm gonna do a shiv kill on this one. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Self kill, stealth kill. Yeah. Okay, we have a silencer on it, but I would. With her, I definitely don't want to use any ammo if I don't have to. I wonder. Okay, this is to such a placebo thing, but somehow. <laughs> Somehow playing as Abby, I like recognize that it, it is a fact. She is actually stronger than Ellie, but it somehow gives me this more, like more of a motivation to just choke people out with her biceps. <laughs> okay, we've got two, two inside. Uh, that one's rotating, so we can wait for him to rotate over here and then possibly snag him. Yeah. There we go. Okay, the other one's not gonna rotate, so we can walk up on this one. Or maybe not, maybe not. Back it up over here. Oh yeah, that's a clicker. Oh yeah. Another day, another clicker. But this is okay, because we're gonna grab this guy right here. Hey, do not walk that way. Nice. All right, we're gonna sneak kill this clicker, but I need to remember that we can't, we can't just stealth roll up. Like we have to be seriously slow and quiet. 
And that should be the last one. The problem is with the clickers, you have to move like... You have to move like slower than slow. Like molasses. Okay. That'll do. That it? Yes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I like her conversation with herself to like, you know, you got to talk yourself up. You got to be like, yes, that is it. No pills in the toilet. Okay, what's here? Snacks. When did I take damage? Now that I think about it. When did we take damage? Hmm. This is where we came from, right? Maybe not. Yes, yeah, yeah, this is where we came from. Okay. I guess maybe we took damage from the clicker when it fell on top of us. Yeah. We'll find another candy bar, so I'm not worried about that. We're gonna build another shiv. And we need to keep finding bottles for our silencers. Or as I like to call them, keep finding silencers for our silencer. Okay, we're not going in through there. Hmm. I don't think I can pick up that note. It's not for us. Nothing on the clicker's body. What's on tap? Not yingling, I'm gone. <laughs> Did I, I don't think, I think I told stream this, I don't think I told you guys this. So obviously loggers are not for everybody and I'm not even that like big of a beer drinker whatsoever. But I go to this brewery and I guess, yeah, when you go to a brewery, they want you to try like their stuff. <laughs> obviously they only have like their stuff. Um, or they'll have a couple of like local other brews and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't go to breweries often. I'm making this sound like I frequent them. I don't. But I go and I ask the person. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what is similar to like Yingling? Because that's my like go to. And this guy looks at me and says, who hurt you? What? In the same, this is the same occasion too where, not the same event, but this is the same feeling as when I went to one of those, if you guys have ever seen them, like axe throwing has become this like super trendy fun thing to do. So I went to go axe throwing and the guide also same thing told me who hurt you because apparently I was absolutely, he was like, you're, you're just throwing it way too hard. Like the key isn't to just like, you need to be more like release it at the right point and you don't actually have to throw it that hard. Everybody out here thinking I've been <laughs> seriously hurt by something and they're just it's just me oh these are wedding cakes <gasps> do you see what i see all right there should be a note here somewhere probably not back here it's probably they never make it as easy as the same location as the safe it's always like becky across the street you'll find <laughs> the key to the combination of the safe that's down the block further and into the woods. It's probably the place next door. Or they're gonna make you work for it, hold on. Mm, we're not gonna be able to get in there. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the location for sure. Oh. This looks like they had really good food. I could really go for some sushi now that I'm thinking about food. Oh, sushi would be amazing. It's gotta be upstairs. But if there's anything we learned from this game, it's that, yep. They like surprising you. And while that didn't come as a surprise to me, God damn it. I knew this was not going to be easy. What do we got? We got two clickers? Hmm. Can she shoot from down here? Oh, 
I don't have to shoot them. I recognize that. I'm choosing to. I recognize I wasted so many bullets there, but it's fine. I was sneaky before. It's all good. I should have sneaked up on them. Why did I do that? I should have sneaked up on them. Oh, that's so... That's painful to watch. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. That's painful to watch. I had every... I had every advantage there. They didn't know I was there. They are clickers, so you can sneak up behind one and kill them, and they don't notice. They're not based on sight. They're not a line of sight. Why? I just got trigger happy. It's the hat. It brings out aggression. That's cool. Uh, atmosphere is huge for restaurants for me. Maybe it's inside of one of the menus. Oh man, guys, we might have to go safe cracker mode. Oh, oh no, wait, it's in the place across. And then we'll go back down. And then we'll have to cross again. Oh yes. All part of the plan. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. Okay, statue. Just a statue. Billiards. There we go. Mm. There it is. 68, 96, 89. Oh. I'm sorry I wasn't here when you got back. The place might... Wait, it must look like a bomb went off. Someone must have tipped Fedra off to our little ration operation. But it was... Jow? Jow? The snake. I managed to hide some stuff, but I, wor I worry our business partners aren't going to be happy with their shipment gone. I put some supplies in the safe. The combination is... Come join me in our other hideout. It's time to think about an exit strategy. All right, we're going to do this. 68, 96, 89. 68, 96, 89. 68, 96, 89. Why do they have to be so similar? 68, 96, 91. 81. It's gone. It's dead and gone. We'll just pull it back up later. <laughs> I don't like the statues being wrapped up like that. You've been here a while. Okay. Hmm. My prophet, may you grant the elders the wisdom they seek to lead us to victory against the wolves. Forgive my indulgence, but my time is short. I pray I can make it to the martyr's gate to deliver this to you. May you keep watch over my child. Keep him happy. Keep him safe. So many have died since the wolves broke the truce. I pray my family lives to see the rewards of our sacrifice. The world is not in balance, but I have done my part to right it. You have led me through the storm. Now I must rest. May the current be a calm. May you guide me home. If you want your family safe, maybe don't join a death cult. I also think that they intentionally have her comment in a, you know, aggressive manner back to everything. Like, because she's coming across so many Scar's bodies. Um, and I think when she meets Owen, it's going to try to challenge that perspective of hers. God. Oh! How did I miss this? I just didn't walk in here. What? Is your favorite color? Or maybe I just missed that. Oh, nope. Oh, yes. The loot goblin senses are not working today. Move faster while holding a hostage, allowing you to quickly reposition while shielding yourself. That's, yeah. Let's save up 10 more for that. Because you guys know I always, I always grab people in the wrong circumstances. And then somebody else sees me in the line of sight. It's just, it's a mess. It's bad news bears all over. Where is the safe? Was the safe in that room? The safe wasn't upstairs. It was in here. Yep, yep, yep. The Jasmine Bakery. Okay, so it should be 89 something something dark side. Not the plea. Uh, 68, 96, 89. 68, 96, 89. 68, 96, 89. That one is hard to remember even no matter how many times you mention it. All right, let's go 68. I don't like that creak. 68, 96, 
was it? And then 81, 80 something. We can listen. That was it, 86. No, it was Damn. not. What was it again? That was not it. Damn it. It was 60 something. 16, not, why do I want to go with 69? It's 81. The first one's 81. The first one's not 60. No. I just need to look at it. I'm really off on the saves. <laughs> oh my gosh, my goldfish brain is an insult to goldfish right now. 60, 68, 96, 89. It was 89, it wasn't 86. I was so sure. It sounded different. <sighs> 68. There, that's that noise. 68, 96. There we go. And then 89. Yep. Do you hear that difference? Yep. Yes. I was trying to go off a of memory and I should have just trusted the the hack you guys told me about. All right. Let's re-up that. Also, looky looky. Nice. Okay. We also got a decent amount of parts, but I think for upgrading the semi, semi is going to be a little, it's going to require a lot, I think, to upgrade it. Go this way. Hmm. Martyr's Gate. Wait. Truth is dead, but you just keep coming back here. All of these flowers. Clean all this shit up. The Martyr's Gate. These are just bodies of fireflies. I mean, of uh, scars. Whoa. Nope, not bodies. But before we do that, hold on. That's actually where we're gonna go because I see the ladder, so we can go here later. So hold on. We should go and explore inside of that. Although we can go over there too. Wait, that's interesting. There's a few routes. Hold on. My prophet, I wish to rejoin the hunts. May you grant my wish for a new steed, swift and strong, a new saddle, and a new bridle. She's not a genie, dude. <laughs> my prophet, my wants are few, my needs are simple. But my hands are clumsy, and I am unable to contribute to the efforts of our village. Mending, forging, building. I ask you grant me these abilities, that I might be productive and respected. Okay, at least that one's a practical request. I like that she responds to everything she reads, though. Prophet, I am a good soldier. I have already freed two wolves in your name. I will send you many more. Please honor me by letting me live long enough to see your salvation spread across this land. Huh. This is also interesting too. This brings up a good point. You don't see them. It's not like they're they're they don't seem to have plans to spread further than Seattle as of right now. I know they just said spread across the land, but we haven't seen a lot of concrete stuff that they're trying to move out. My prophet, may you bring my children, your children, prosperity and strength that we might cleanse this world of its sickness and start anew. Okay, they're all talking about spreading out That's to the whole world, but man. still. You guys know what I mean. My prophet, may you grant the elders the wisdom to pair me with Edmund. Edmund, I can't think of that without um, Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe. Edmund, he is strong and capable, tender and kind, and he loves, oh man, I love to, I long to bear his children. And he loves, what was it? Ooh, someone wants to get laid. Mm. What was that treat that Edmund asked from the queen? Crumpets? It wasn't crumpets. It was like, was it something? Oh, I forget what they were. Turkish delights. It was Turkish delights. <laughs> I long for Turkish delights. My prophet, I ask that you grant me. May you bring me. Perhaps what I ask is impossible. 
<laughs> but I must ask, bless the wolves with your insight, with your wisdom, with your love, that they might renounce their selfish ways and lay down their arms. May you bring peace to this world. You want peace? Easy. Stay on your island. What if they have, they have, um, what if, uh, Owen wants to join them? Like he's rethought about things as he's becoming a father and Cam, thanks for the note. I appreciate it. I can't wait to see you again. Meanwhile, I'm stuck. I'm still stuck guarding the scar prophet. I didn't tell you this, but on the last shift, I talked to her. I asked her what it is. She, wait, what is she doing? Wait, wait, why is she doing this? Why doesn't she ask her people to lay down their arms? She started off with the usual scar BS. How we need to go back to nature. Talked a bunch about the reliance we have on our machines. But then she said she doesn't want a war. That outbreak day was a wake up call. But not all of us woke up or something like that. It was just getting interesting when Effing Lewis walks in and gives me shit about talking to her. But when he started screaming at her, she just smiles back at him. Even when they move her cells and the other guards were calling her names, pushing her around, she just kept the calm smile. It was spooky. Everyone says she's crazy, but I'll tell you. Wait, so they have her stuck, like locked away? After hanging out with her, I get what she's saying. Don't get me wrong, I think her followers are loons, but she has this way about her that draws you in. I hear rumblings that they want to move her closer to a more secure location. See you back home. Be careful, Sally. Isaac. You turned you to crazy. a crazy person into a martyr. Huh. Huh. Yeah, does I do? <gasps> Mm. You guys know it's a good day when your girl finds a holster. The shortgun holster, too. Ooh. Money. Pills? Yeah. My posture. Absolute gargoyle today. Okay. What's that? I like what we have right now. Okay, so we know which way we need to go. There's... Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't any... Nothing? I think we can go up a couple different ways. See, like, you can go up over there, and we want to go up over there. Because there's ammo, although I don't... Mm. I think that's for the semi, and we actually are maxed on the ammo for it. Just run down here real quick. Nothing. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna make this jump. <gasps> nope. Nope. No shot. <laughs> we can make it from the other direction though. So what we're gonna do is just climb this. Yep. I knew there had to be a reason that they left the ladder here, but I thought I'd try. A pipe. <laughs> I did all of that for a pipe? All right. Boshe, boshe, boshe. Here we go. And I'll take that. All right, so we need to get through. And we can just jump down here. How close are we? Oh! I always have them fall from the side. <laughs> okay, I see the next building. Clickers. I'm out. I'm out. There's something, something saw me. I started to hear it. it. Might be when I'm standing up, they can, yep, they can see me through the window. Okay, oh, I see him, sniper. Gotcha. Uh, the hunting rifle could definitely work. I know we just got a shot for it. Real quick though, uh, Mm, he's got eyes on. He knows where I am. It's not kicked out. That's gonna hit the wall. Nothing. We're good. There's a lot. 
Okay, we need to be sneaky about this. He's gonna see me for a second. We're gonna go through here. Okay. Okay. There's somebody in this building, I think, with me. Maybe not. I just heard something. It's a toy store? Looks like a bookstore. Mm. All right, let's go over here. Ooh. Is somebody in here with me? No. They're all in that building, which we can... We might be able to sneak by this completely. Snacks. All right, they don't look like they have any dogs with them. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Ugh, they're, they're two back to back. That's going to be rough. I need to wait for the other one to turn around. I actually wish I had a... I wish I had a bow and arrow. Actually, though... Hey, what are the chances I can actually sneak past this and not kill anybody? I would say not very high, but... I don't know. There's a store on the other side, though. That would be great to loot. You guys... Okay. <laughs> My listening senses are garbage. I don't think we're headed straight. I think we're headed to that big building. So we're gonna have to clear them out. But this is okay. This is good. This is a good position to be in. Hold on. Two moving forward? No. Okay. What's the dealio? We've got sniper on top. Most certainly, if we got close enough, we could get an... Does somebody see me? That's unnerving. Ah, uh, yeah, I see him. Okay, we need to run over it. That's a bush that we can't go through, though. See where the bush meets the car? I can't actually, like, go through that point. Which would be nice. That's, I mean... One, this doesn't have a silencer on it. It'll take him out. It'll definitely take him out, but... That headshot from here? That's gonna be hard. We can wait for him to come a little closer. Come a little bit closer, you my kind of guy. I just think I'm gonna hit the... Oh, no. Okay, he's looking over here. That one. First kill. Mm. Top side. I'm gonna get closer. There's no way I'm gonna hit that. But if I can get right up underneath him, like right here, I could hit that. I'm nervous. I know somebody saw me. So who saw me? We can't go prone underneath this either. Uh, two rotating over there. So let's try to climb in. Ayo, how's it going? It's your girl. I don't know if there's any more in this building. We can build another okay we have we have a we have one more shot with the silencer she has a crappy uh her silencer is not upgraded okay we can just go this way yeah i don't have to i think i can just go upstairs although i don't think this is the actual route that we have to go through so we'll we'll kill the others from top side there's one right there's two coming in, inside. No, that's just a light that's coming up on the... Okay. We got this.
I know my movement's so... <laughs> my movement is so all over the place. Like, there's nothing smooth about it. I think if I was mouse and keyboard, it probably would be. I think it's just those two. I know. I know. I know I'm not being sneaky about it, but it's okay. It's all good. I probably, I mean, he was gonna, what did your braid just do? If they come in through here, we'll be good. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Another one rotating this way. Where's the wolf? <sighs> Swear to me. <gasps> oh, cheeky biscuits, cheeky biscuits. There, you are. there we go. Oh, that, that would be a, that would definitely do it. That will do it. Please show yourself. All right, we have some more semi-ammo right here. We should have stuck with this ammo because we had, we knew we had more semi-ammo. That should be it. Okay. There we go. Gotta be a way through this building. All right, I took one hit, but we can grab a snack and we'll be good. <sighs> does she not do Molotovs? She doesn't, she does pipe bombs. All right, craft another silencer. Okay, so there is a way through this building, but I'm gonna actually go down here first. <laughs> Let's go see if we can grab any ammo from the bodies. Loot the bodies. And then we need to check out the store across the street. <coughs> I had a DVD flashback and thought that was the hatch. Get in the hatch, get in the hatch. A dibita. Uh, there might be some more stuff in there. There's a clicker right there or no, I just exploded their head. Not a clicker. Just absolutely wrecked their head. Moon milk tea. I feel like this place sells boba tea. Oh, there you go. There it is. There it is. Craft another shiv? We can't. I need to get the ability that gives... <coughs> what just happened? That gives us more... I'm gonna craft this because I'm maxed on some stuff. So we can actually pick up this. Yes. Moon milk tea. Whoa. Big sippers. That looks amazing. <laughs> the big gulp. Oh my gosh. This place is sinful. I need to get out of here. Abby, we're not going to be looking so swole if we actually stay here too much longer. Oh, the carb loading. Have we been in Lucky Tiger? That's where we started. Yeah, Lucky Tiger comics. What if we can get in the bus? No, don't swap. I think we cannot go inside the bus. No. Unless. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. No, we can't. There we go. All right, game. Look, I'm looting. Don't sit here and, and make me feel guilty for this. Come on. Can I get up there? Yeah, I know. I know. There's a bottle in here. I went in there for a bottle. We were already on the second floor, so it doesn't matter. I know, I'm going. Don't get your panties in a twist. Come on. This game just doesn't recognize that some people like to take their time. I for sure miss things when I rush through. Hmm, the vending machine has seen better days. <laughs> All right, so we're going back up. Please tell me you didn't run into these guys. You know Owen can hold his own. He definitely can hold his own. I guess I never went further up. This isn't gonna be accessible. I want to give uh, I want to give Last of Us a really big pat on the back for not making these in between, like significant 
actions and everything like this in between traveling kind of stuff that they do we do it a lot but it never feels too long like it feels the perfect amount of traveling to feel like it would be realistic to getting to where they need to be without exhausting you and just feeling like you're constantly banging your head against walls of scars and infected it just always feels like it builds into the world and the reality oh this will help all right well we just gotta oh okay abby gets the double barrel abby gets the double barrel surprise but ellie doesn't all right that's mm. I would say the only thing that makes me mad about this game with the with the playing as Abby is that Abby gets cooler things than Ellie. Okay? There you are. Abby gets so many cooler things. Just need to get down to the street. Okay, so we're gonna get down to the street. I can do this. Oh yes. That's the only thing that makes me mad about this. Mmm. I wonder. How many people out there actually liked playing as Abby more than Ellie? I don't know if anybody did, but I just food for thought. Let me know if you were in the the group that felt like this was so much fun. Of course, I walked right into a scar camp. Okay, that's not bad. Read the note. Oh my goodness! I, hold on, I need to make sure this isn't the doorbell. I'm sorry, you guys. I need to make sure that it isn't a delivery. You know, the holidays. I... Okay, it's not. It's just... Uh, cable. Cable. When a child is born to the scars, they're like a blank slate. Nothing but potential. You have fulfilled the potential, that potential beyond my wildest expectations. Ah, forgive me for not being present for your initiation ceremony. I remember my own father soothing the sting on my cheeks with eucalyptus leaves soaked in cool rainwater. You will forget the pain in time, but the cuts will always be there to remind you of the wisdom of prophet, of our prophet. We are imperfect beings, and thus we make ourselves imperfect in their eyes. May she guide you through the storm of all your days. May you always find your true strength. I am proud of you, your father, Ezra. Hmm. Uh. That's sweet. Is it tab tabula? Why do I don't want to say tabula rasa. I don't think that's it. What is that phrase where it's like the blank slate? Ah, tabula something. All right, let's see if we can level up anything. This is a makeshift workbench, but I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. It has like, has a charm to it all right y'all know the deal we're gonna really lean into which i know i haven't been after i said i'm going to but i'm gonna try to lean back into the semi just because we don't get to have that the double barrel <laughs> i think i think the reason why uh, the game doesn't necessarily make you want to use your heavy weapons because you have a silencer and the silencer kind of makes it feel like you can move through at ah, my my hair the silencer makes you feel like oh my gosh my hair keeps getting caught hold on sorry the silencer makes you feel like you can move through areas faster because you can just kind of take everybody out and you don't have to be maybe as methodical as you do with some other ones i'm a mess today you guys so many breaks so many <laughs> the distractions real uh stability okay so we haven't put anything into it first fire I thought I did upgrade one thing. You guys want to increase the scope? Stability. Let's do the scope. You guys know I love a scope on my rifle. Oh, yes. Yes. Goo. Goo. Insert the raccoon gif. Goo. Goo. I need a... <laughs> I need you guys to see that once. All right, plus we're rocking zero ammo for this and we do keep getting ammo for the, the rifle. I just feel like we come across rifle ammo way more than the, than the pistol or the military grade pistol. 
Hmm. Crazy bitch. Oh. Do you even know what you were starting? How did Isaac start the wolves? Food for thought. But where's my food? This is cool. Can we go up over that way? Yep. King Station. Just keep heading down. It will serve its purpose. So, should we help them search for the runaway? Emily is taking the group into the woods at sundown. She'll find them. Good. May our prophet grant justice. To <laughs> Sorry. Attacked. It came from back there. I know. Aggressive. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, everybody just relax. I'm so. Oh, nobody say anything. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Like, I know I said that we get plenty of rifle ammo, but I'm not trying to go out there just swinging my rifle around in everybody's face. This is gonna be so rough for this person. Unless I have the same aim I had before. I'm just trying to get into Abby's role where she, you know, just has no problem slaughtering people. Now I know she wasn't always like this. And I know what she did to Joel is, in her eyes, what Ellie's doing. Totally different scenario, of course. This is like, um. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's rough. That is rough. I'm gonna punch her in the face. Wait, we have somebody on this side. Don't we? No? That sucks for him. There. Oh my gosh. I like. I must have just. I don't know. I woke up today and chose violence. Because nothing about today has been strategic or. I'm just going in there. Guns blazing. Snacks. There's only two left. Man, that sucks for them. Abby is definitely a force to be reckoned with. I, I mean, just think about it. They created two incredibly strong female leads here. That's why, like, um, I guess in a way, Abby is, Abby is a, she is a protagonist. She is one of the protagonists. Yo, what? bad news bears. I see him. Honestly, we don't use the pipe bombs enough. Kind of want to do this. I don't think he's there anymore, but... Oh. He's not there. Damn it. Okay, we have one down. One over there. Oh, there are way more than just... Okay, there's way more than the two I said initially. It's all good. We're gonna rotate this way. One's trying to get up top here. I just don't know which side he's gonna come from. I'm out of a melee weapon, so let me grab this. Okay, they can't climb up here. This is a really good spot. This is a nice spot to be in. We've got some natural sunlight coming in so I can see everything. Now we just need to get them to come over here. There we go. Thanks. Mm, ignore me. She's coming right side. Ow. 
Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Hold on. I gotta take this out. I gotta take this out. I've been impaled by an arrow. I forgot about that. I forgot they have that stupid bullshit thing. All right, let's go ahead and heal. I think the nice thing too, and this is what like, make sure you like you rem- <laughs> This is what I try to remind people, like I'm playing on normal. It's not meant to be a flawless run or anything. It's not meant to do it the most efficient way possible. Like it's just, no matter, I, I can still get through these situations even if I use all of my bullets, like it's okay. Okay, well, I'm running out of some stuff, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Hmm. Good morning. All right, there should be one or two left, I think. Yep, one's coming up here. Oh, 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 really? You want to just create, like, a call? Last one, line up. Last one's coming into place. Give me the cue that we're done. Music. Music's not subsiding. There's still one more person. There's definitely still one more person. What? I think he's like, he must be hiding somewhere. I think he's down right below. Yeah. Sir? He's on the other side of the wall. <gasps> oh. Let me go. I'm just gonna choke him out. You would be so blessed to be choked out by Abby's biceps. Are you kidding me? It was swift. I'll give him that. It was a swift death. Okay. All right, that's good. Oh no, that's their saying. The wolf saying is swift. Oh, that's on them. They, I don't know, dude. I walk up, I see two dead bodies in place right where I'm trying to shoot at. I'm probably not gonna take the same stance. That's just my my personal take on that. Probably not gonna go in the same location. Nice. Okay, so as long as we can get back, you know, like a bullet or two, I'll feel good. We already built back our health kit. Shivs, we can't do anymore. We'll go ahead and build up one of these. Molotovs will make one and then we'll save the bottles, bottles and uh, I'm telling you, bottles and tape. It's the, the thing to be in this game, I suppose. The most wanted. I bet that was one of the last, maybe one of the last encounters we have before we meet Owen. Tape. Nope. Just kidding. Ah. What is this? Nice. All right. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I feel like I wasted so many shots there. Okay, let's get down to the streets, the streets. Just run over here real quick. There might be something, anything. A coin. <laughs> when I shot that first one in this encounter, I didn't realize just how many there were. I guess I just expected there to be two. Though they were having a nice little heart to heart next to each other. Ginger, no, I don't. Ginger wants to come in for treats. All my cat wants are treats. Okay, so what's gonna be the route down? Probably, we were probably in the right spot. I didn't do that. That wasn't me. It wasn't me. This is where we, okay, this is where we were before, okay. I think, I think we got most of it. 
get down to the street. Hmm. I wish we could go that way near the clock. By the clock tower. Come on, Abby. Come on, Abby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh! 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 Abby! No! Get the fuck off me! No, no! Oh, I'm so conflicted on one end. I feel like, wow, she got what she. <laughs> oh my gosh! Was that the was that the woman? Was that her? She had a different coat on. I don't know if that was her. You guys already know I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> you guys know we always stop on the intense parts. Oh my gosh. Okay, well let me stretch real quick. Oh my goodness. Was that, was that, first of all, I think that might've been the prophet because we were following pretty close to where I think the hideout was, but also we are starting on the scene by here. So we're either gonna play as Owen and find her or Owen's going to be there wherever we've been captured. Do you think it's possible that Owen, when we saw him, he was with Mel. He cares about, she cares about him. She and Owen were somehow on the outskirts. They had to, they were on the outskirts with, or on the outs with um, Isaac when Ellie ran into her. But Abby has been taken by the scars, guys. Okay. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I don't have a lot to say to this episode um, other than I'm great. I'm just I'm super excited to dive into the next one. Uh, what what predicament I find myself in to where I now feel like I've taken on playing as Abby. That's not to that doesn't take away from the pain I felt of Joel's death. It doesn't make me like Ellie or Joel less, and it doesn't make me like Abby anymore. It's just that I'm playing her as the game designed, and so whatever happens like emotionally to me is based on the dialogue, it's based on what she goes through, it's based on seeing things from her perspective. And as you guys can tell, it's the same. I think, I think, I would only, my only disagreement with, I think sometimes people say that the only, like the main crux of this game is revenge, right? Like that's like the main thing. When you boil it all down, it's revenge. But I think it's more than that. I think it really is just, I, I think it's that, <laughs> I think it really is just everything is not black or white. And it shows you that everybody thinks that they are doing the right thing in their eyes. And it's different for each perspective story. Like each person's story is completely different. And so when you play as Abby, you see her going through these struggles. You see her going through the same things we've seen Ellie go through, not to the point of like watching Joel be brutally murdered. Um, but also... There was a little bit different. I do realize that the way that Ellie saw Joel dying was very different than how Abby's dad was killed too. Abby's Abby's dad was stabbed by Joel. I want to say we stabbed him or something like that. And she didn't have to watch it. That was something where I think Abby's revenge completely blinded her to not realizing what she was doing by killing Joel in front of Abby. I'm sorry, in front of Ellie. Um, I think that was, that was another... Both of them seemed to be very similar and that's what the game's doing you and that's what I realized in this one like we saw Ellie with Joel in the museum we see Abby and Owen like her love interest in the the aquarium and we see both of their quality of lives before the event happened um we see it from her perspective and then they also have these similarities where they're both being thrusted into these really hard ambiguous situations that you don't know you're making your best judgment call. Like they're making their best judgment calls. They're playing a little bit into their emotions with revenge. And um, Abby, for one, has pushed, she definitely pushed Owen away. So I think we're going to go back to the, I think this is going to be a flashback. Actually, now that I think about it, no, I don't think we're going to dive straight back into um, Abby in present time or Abby in, in this situation. Sorry. I think what this is about to show us based on the Ferris wheel is I think we're going to go back to seeing Abby and, and Owen's relationship because it's also winter and it's not winter time when Abby just got knocked out. So yeah, I think we're going to go back to a flashback here at the start of the next one, but 
Guys, this game just continues to get better and better. I, I can't say enough how much I, I love it and I hate it at the same time, but the reasons that I hate it are because it makes me feel uncomfortable in the best way possible. Like, I, I can't, I, I don't think I can stress to you guys enough that this is such a unique game. Like, this does not feel like any other game that I've ever played, and I love it. Okay, anyways, I don't know. All right, I'm done rambling. Guys, I hope y'all have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, and I will see you guys in the next video. And yes, let me know if you guys ended up actually enjoying playing as Abby more than Ellie. I know that's not like a popular opinion by any means, but I'm interested to see. I want to hear the different perspectives, um, and I'm really excited to kind of go back and see y'all's comments at once I do finish it because I want to see where um, people in the community fell on like loving it or hating it. So yeah, thank you guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, YouTube.